Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number six, and today we are going to be talking about the field group module. But first off, if you're not already following me on Twitter, at smthomas3 if you're interested, and also if you haven't already, subscribe to the CodeKarate.com newsletter. What I'm thinking of doing is rolling these Daily Dose of Drupal videos up or at least the concepts, and maybe once a month, give or take, posting a longer 20 to 30 minute video, uh, going into a little bit more detail on specific topics and case studies with Drupal. And only members of my site and newsletter will be able to get to that. But it's free, so go ahead and sign up. But today, as I mentioned, we'll be going over the field group module, and if you've used Drupal 6 and CCK, uh, it's going to be pretty familiar, but a few things that are different and a few new features. So we're just going to go over this pretty quickly. I have a test site here. I'm going to go ahead and download the field group module. And I'm going to enable it. It says it was enabled successfully, so I'm going to jump back in here and we're just going to create a new content type and we will call this content type doctor appointment keep all the rest of the stuff pretty much standard and we'll just go ahead and save it we'll go ahead and in our doctor appointment content type we will go to manage fields you'll see now it looks a little bit different you have this new add group section down here and the field group section so let's go ahead and let's say we want a new group called patient information and this you know maybe isn't the most accurate example of how you'd use it but there's a whole bunch of uses so I'm sure you can figure out a bunch of ways that it will be useful and so you can break this up into a field set vertical tabs horizontal tabs so there's just a whole bunch of different options so we're gonna go ahead and go to horizontal tab item and we'll just save that and we will add a field called first name Oh, that's an existing field. We want a new field. Sorry about that. First name. It's going to create a new field. We'll make this text. Go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click Save. Leave everything else default just to keep it simple. And we're going to actually drop that into patient information. We'll hit Save. And let's go ahead and add another group called Appointment Details. And we'll also make this a horizontal tab item. We'll save that. And we're going to then say, uh, under this one, we're going to want Appointment Date make it a date and we'll have it a pop-up calendar and you're gonna need the date module installed if you don't already uh, have it in order to get this date to show up but this site already had that so we're gonna go ahead and say we just want year month day hour and minute we'll use the websites time zone we'll go ahead and collect an end date as well and we'll go ahead and save that leave the rest of the defaults there and we will drop that appointment date or appointment details into there and we'll also drop the body into there as well and now we're going to go ahead and actually add some of this doctor appointment content so you'll see now we have a couple different tabs here that expand you can add the first name for patient information or you can add the appointment date or body field but let's go back into the structure and let's change a few of these other things
going to add a group for just the appointment and I'm going to make this a horizontal tabs group and inside here I'm going to actually drag in these horizontal tab items to actually get them working correctly and now assuming I saved it I go back and now I have a little nicer looking horizontal tabs so you can see there's a whole bunch of different options you can use in order to lay out your node edit forms to make them easier not only for you to enter information but if you're building the website for someone else for someone who's not necessarily a developer to easily enter in, enter various content into your website and we'll just go back and look at a couple of the other options here so we can also then change this to an accordion group we'll change these to accordion items and save this and you can of course go ahead and try a whole bunch of these other ones out but we'll just go through a couple here and now you can see a little bit different formatting same concept it just puts the different fields into the different buckets and allows you to more easily add content to your site. We just kept it simple today. Tomorrow I'll be going over uh, a whole new concept. But again, if, follow me on Twitter if you're not already, and hopefully you learned something today. Thanks for watching.